this question gets us to thinking about how we might be able to colour this diagram using three colours. Initially, we fix the colours of A and B to be red and yellow, respectively. With that fixed, because adjacent circles are not allowed to have the same colour, we know that C will have to be either green or red. Let's just give it a go and see whether we can finish colouring in by making C red to start with. We know that D now has to be yellow or green. Again, I will just pick it to be yellow to start with and see if I can finish this colouring. Indeed, the colouring will work if I make E green, because green is different from both red and from yellow. So I've come up with a possible colouring using three colours that respects the rules. The question is also asking us to think about whether it's possible to colour the diagram with only two colours. Well, indeed it tells us it's not, but why not? If we're only using red and yellow and we fixed A to be red and B to be yellow, we know that C has to be red because it's adjacent to B and so cannot be yellow. We then know that D has to be yellow because it's adjacent to the red C. And then E cannot be either red because it's adjacent to A or yellow because it's adjacent to D. Therefore, we've run into a problem and it's not possible to colour the diagram with only two colours. We're now interested in how many ways there are of colouring the diagram using three colours. So we now know it's possible based on the first part and we know it's not possible using only two colours. When we were approaching the first part, we were arbitrarily picking colours based on what was available to us and as long as we didn't arrive at a contradiction, we had one possible way of colouring the diagram. Now that we're interested in knowing how many ways there are, we'll need to keep track of the choices we're making and either backtrack so that we can explore the alternative choices we can make or eliminate any options along the way. Arbitrarily, I can start by colouring in my first circle, A, in one of the three colours available to me and I'll remember to multiply by three at the end if I made a different choice at that point. Let's say I colour A in orange. Now I have two colours available to me for colouring B, either white or purple. Again, arbitrarily, I will colour it purple and remember that I'll have to multiply by two again at the end because in total there are six different ways of choosing the first two colours. I have three options for the first one and two for the second one. After this, the choices are no longer equivalent. Circle C has to be either white or orange, but the options are not the same as each other because I already have an orange circle on the board. I will therefore explore these possibilities separately. First of all, if C is orange, both D and E need to be purple and white in some order. Neither of them can be orange because they're both adjacent to one orange circle, but they can be purple and white in either order. Therefore, I have two possible ways of completing this colouring and I will remember at the end to multiply by six to account for the possibility of switching the first two colours around. The alternative I'm exploring is the world where C is coloured white. In this case, D could be either purple or orange. If D is purple, then E has to be white 
because it's adjacent to both an orange and a purple circle. So in this world, there is only one way of finishing the colouring. However, if D is orange, I actually have two possibilities for E because it's adjacent to two orange circles, so it can be either purple or white. So this gives rise to two more possibilities. So if I go back to this scenario where C is white and D is either orange or purple, in total I have three different colourings. I remember back that when I made C orange, there were two different colourings. In total, therefore, I have five possibilities of completing the colouring with A and B having definite colours. I now need to multiply that five by the original six due to the different choices I can make for the initial two colours. Therefore, the total number of possible colourings is 30.